Hello everyone, let's take a look at this practice problem. So in this problem, we have an image of a sphere, a closed cube, and given various values for the uniform electric field, we want to find the flux through the right face of the cube. Now recall that the electric flux is equal to the dot product of the electric field strength with the area vector of the surface. So for each part of this problem, we'll have to take the dot product of whichever electric field formula we have and dot that with the area vector, which we might as well figure out first. The problem tells us that the edge length of the cube is 1.4 meters. And since this is the right face we're looking at, we can see that the normal vector points in the y axis, in the positive direction. So there's going to be a positive j hat unit vector there. So dA is then going to be equal to the square of 1.4 meters in the j direction. So let's first solve part A, where the flux is 6i. So the flux has a value of 6 in the positive i direction, and we're dotting that with our area vector of 1.4 squared in the j hat direction. Now this is pretty simple to calculate as long as you're familiar with your dot product rules, because when we take the dot product of two vectors, we're only multiplying the like components. But if we're multiplying an i component by a j component, that doesn't work and it just goes straight to zero. So the answer to this calculation, the answer to part A, is zero newton meters squared per coulomb. So that's the flux in part A. Now let's take a look at part B, where the electric field that we're given is negative two with the j hat unit vector. So negative two j hat. So the flux for this part of the problem, the flux for part B, is going to be negative 2j dotted with 1.4j. The area isn't changing since we're still looking at the same face. So now both of our terms have the same unit vector. So we can multiply these together and expect to find a non-zero result. So when we do that, when we multiply them together, we find a flux of negative 3.92 newton meters squared per coulombs. So that is the flux in part B. Now let's look at part C, where the E field we're dotting is equal to negative 3i plus 4 a. And if you're very clever, you might already be noticing that we're probably going to get a very similar result to what we found in part A of the problem. Because if we have negative 3 plus negative 3i plus 4k and dot that with something in the j hat direction, then we can see that there is nothing to multiply together. Because the, on one side of the dot product is something that has uh, directions in the i hat and k hat. But the other thing we're dotting is only in the j hat. So that means everything goes to zero once again. So part c, the flux, is again zero newton meters squared per coulomb. The final part of the problem, part d, asks about the flux through the entire cube. This part of the problem is actually a lot easier than it might first look or sound, because there's a very helpful rule to remember. And if we have a closed surface, which means a surface that has no openings, and the electric field strength is constant, which it is in this case, because in none of the parts of the problem, it's none of the parts ever tell us that it changes with position, which would indicate that there's no charge enclosed by the, by the cube, and that means that the net flux through the whole surface is going to be zero. And even if we just look at the diagram and work through it in our heads with the numbers, this is fairly intuitive. Because, for example, in part A, 6i, 
the electric field always has a magnitude of six in the x direction. So that means that if there's a flux of six newton meter squared per coulombs into one face, then it comes out of that face. The same amount of flux comes out of that face. So it completely undoes itself. So the net flux in all parts is going to be zero. The total flux of a uniform field through a closed surface is always zero. And that is it for this problem. And that's all. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my alternate YouTube channels are linked in the description below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.